Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And in today's Tableau tutorial, what I wanna cover with you is how do you filter on a top 10% of values? Um, or really any percent, it doesn't have to be top 10, but that just sounds nice for a video title. And uh, you may know from working with Tableau that Tableau has some built-in top filter functionality, but it's all based on counts. like. What are our top five customers? What are our top 25 products? But there's not really like a top percent, so to speak. So we have to do a little bit of customization to get that to work. It's gonna require a calculation. Uh, it's gonna require a parameter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and piece it all together and you'll see that it's, it's not so bad. All right, so I've got a worksheet here showing our customers in this Superstore data set and then their total sales amount. So the question at the top of this worksheet is which customers are in the top 10% by sales, okay? So what we're gonna end up using for this is a percentile function to tell us, you know, for instance, Sean is in the 100th percentile, Tamara's in the 99th, Raymond's in the 98th, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a calculated field, all right? And so I'll call this my, you know, sales percentile. And there's actually a handful of percentile fields in Tableau. Um, we are looking for rank percentile, okay? Just the straight up percentile field, um, what that does is it actually looks at individual rows of data. We're looking at aggregated data, right? Sean Miller's bar may be 100 transactions all added together into this long bar. So I wanna rank based on the sum of sales. So I got rank percentile, sum sales. All right, so let me just hit okay on this and just start by showing you by adding this as a label onto the end of the bar. Let me just show you what this looks like. I'm just changing the number format so it's two decimal places. And uh, I, I guess I set it to a percentage, which is, which is fine, right? So you can see Sean is in the 100th percentile, Tamara Sean 99.87. So basically if we were looking for the top 10%, it would be anybody that's at about 90 or higher, okay? So then how do we do that? Well, we could just go straight for it, right? We could just say, oh, sales percentile, throw that on filters, and it has to be at least, you know, 0.9 or 90%. So that's great, that works. In a, in a quick GIF, no problem. We are now down to our 80 customers who comprise our top 10% by sales. Uh, so let's take this one step further, right? What if we want our user to be able to control that? So they could say 10 or 12 or 20%, okay? Now we need to create a parameter for our user, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the drop down here at the top of the data pane, say create parameter. So I'll call this top percent of customers uh, by sales. The data type will be float, that is good. Um, oh, hmm, let me think about this. I think a range is fine. So the minimum of the range would be zero. The maximum of the range would be 100 or one. Um, and then the step size would be 0.01 or 1%. So we are working with decimals. It's kind of like Excel, like 0.01 is actually 1%, 0.1 is 10%, that sort of thing. So I hit okay. I'm gonna show this parameter, right? Oh, I need to format it as a percentage. Second, go back and edit the parameter, display format percentage with no decimals. Okay, so let's say I want this to be the top, let's say top 5%. Okay, so how do I now edit the calculated field so that it knows, oh, only show me the top 5%. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to duplicate our original sales percentile field because that isn't, that is an accurate field, like we may want to use that again, but this is, I'm going to create, um, I'm gonna edit the duplicate and this will be our sales percentile filter. So how does this work? I will say rank percentile sum of sales needs to be greater than or equal to one minus the top percentage parameter. So what does that minus mean? What does that do? Okay, so if you are looking for the top 5% um, percentile, like how do I say this? For a percentile field, the best person, Sean Miller, the most sales, he is 100, um, which means he's in the top 1%. But the 1% percentile is actually the lowest person, right? So it's kind of flipped. It's a little bit inverted. Um, so what we want to do is we want to say, give us the rank percentile of the people that are in the one minus this. So this would basically be, right now, it's set to 5%. This is basically 100 minus 95. 
or minus five. So basically give us everybody 95% and higher. <laughs> Hopefully I'll explain that all right. I think it'll make sense once I throw this out there. So I'll say, okay. And just to show you, I'm just gonna put sales percentile filter on rows right now. So we hard filtered it to 10%, but then that extra label I just added is for 5%. So everybody who's at 95 or higher should say true. And everybody who's below 95 should say false. So how do we rig this all together? Let's take off our static filter. Uh, let's go ahead and actually, let me just do this. I'm gonna have two, I'm gonna upload this workbook for you. So I'm gonna have two versions. I'm gonna have the static version of this, and then I'm gonna have the dynamic version of this. All right, so we'll take our static filter off the filters card. I'm gonna put the sales percentile filter on the filters uh, card, oh, rather that's over here, and just say, only give me true. So now you can see this is just my top 5%. And as I dial this back, 4%, 3%, 2%, it's cutting down on my list. And then finally, I want the title to update which customers are in the top 10%. Well, right now it's set to 2%. So I'm gonna go ahead, double click on the title and get rid of where it says 10% and instead insert what the parameter says. So insert parameters, top percentage of customers by sales. Say, okay, top 2%, top 3%. You can see now it's all synced up. So there you go. Those are just some different ideas around how you can filter on a top percent, um, whether it's just a one-off, hey, 10%, or whether you're trying to make it dynamic. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, I think one last note is in order for this to work correctly, all of the customers do need to be showing originally. Um, so it's just ranking the customers based on who's available. So if I filter this down to just a specific region of the world, it's gonna be showing me my top 3% in that region. This rank percentile is calculated after any filters, right? So if I said, oh, segment, home office, my top 3% is going to be different than my overall top 3%. So that is just kind of one caveat to be aware of. So, all right, I hope this has been a helpful tutorial for you on how to filter on a top 10% or whatever percent um, in Tableau. So thank you for following along and we look forward to catching you on another Tableau tutorial here on the One Number YouTube channel next week. Thanks.